Hey Nathan, they just dropped off the most expensive Jeep I think that Jeep makes. How much is this bad boy? Well, according to the Moroni, yeah. this, this guy comes out to, now this is fully loaded, yeah. uh, $78,355. $78,000. $78, for a Jeep SRT Grand Cherokee. That, that is, is a lot, lot of money. money. Of course, it's a lot of car. I mean, this is the fastest Jeep until the Trackhawk comes along. I think 465-ish horsepower, if I remember yeah. right. Yeah, I mean, this thing is a completely different beast than anything else. It kind of proves that, that the uh, Grand Cherokee is their most flexible platform. Yeah, and remember when this came out, they flew us down to the uh, Circuit of Americas. Boy, it was a hell of a day. Yeah, down in Texas, in yeah. Austin, and we got to drive this on the track. It was a blast. And we did this cool video where we compared it to uh, the X5M, I think, and yep. the Porsche at the time. Yep, yep that's right. Uh, and it, it was fast. And it has the easiest launch control on the planet. It's one button, you hit the button, and it tells you there are prompts in the binnacle that tell you what to do, and you do it, and you take off very quickly. Yeah, and it works because it's all-wheel drive. Yeah. Unlike uh, some other FCA cars that are <laughs> rear-wheel drive. Yeah. So the question is, Nathan, what can we do with it? I mean, obviously we can give it to Paul, and he can take it around the track. Yeah, with his, he's got cute little hands and everything holding on. He can get our car around the track so much faster than us. What if we drag race it? Yeah, because Paul's out of town. Right. So, yeah, let's drag race it, but what do we drag race it against? Um, maybe your car. <laughs> yeah, the Hellcat. I love yeah. that. Because really, okay, in a, in a quarter mile, the Hellcat will probably win, but it has very limited traction. Yes, it does. So on our short little drag strip, right, which is about an eighth of a mile, that is. this thing will come out of the hole like a scalded cat. Yeah, this should have a much better takeoff, which might give it the edge. That would actually be a really good race. This thing weighs a lot more than that. This is like, 500 what, pounds, dude. 500 pounds more. But it's got all-wheel drive. It's got all-wheel drive. And it will launch. So Nathan, I got a question for you. Go for it. Are you going to use launch control on this drag race? Funny you mention that. Yeah. I've actually been here for a little while practicing and because I really want to... You've been practicing? Oh, I want to beat you. But here's the problem. Um, this track is not the world's most level track and because of that, the launch control only works in certain parts of the track. <laughs> Otherwise, it has a default where it just shuts you out and says, I will not launch. So. I may not be able to use launch control in the drag race, but I still think I could beat you. All right, fair enough. I think on a longer track I would have you, but on the shorter track, it's going to be close. Let's find out. Oh, yeah. Guys, check this out. How did they get this engine in there? I mean, they had to use shoehorns just to get it in. It's massive. This is a 6.4 liter V8. It's a Hemi, but it's different than the one that Roman has in his car. This one puts out 475 horsepower and 470 pound-feet of torque. Now, it's hooked up to an eight-speed automatic transmission that feeds all four wheels, and it has different types of torque that goes back and forth, so it could be 30, 70, 50, 50. It's pretty cool. expensive than this Hellcat but at this point it's about forced induction and skill so there's only one way to launch this you have launch control but it doesn't do much so you put it in manual mode you take it up to uh, second spool up the engine a little bit Just as we thought. Oh, my heart's pounding there. Now that was close. That was close. I think you nosed ahead of me right at the cone. Yeah, it was just like we thought. You got the whole shot, <laughs> and uh, then the Hellcat's horsepower and forced induction just took off. We should try it again. All right, one more time. Yeah. Okay. I was serious, man. I wanted to take him. I had him off the line beautifully and I, I could hear him coming and yeah he, he got me 
Hey guys, if you like these kind of uh, drag races, please support us. Go over to patreon.com slash tflcar and support us at two, five, or ten dollars. We're not getting rich here. We're just trying to make interesting videos that you guys want to watch and uh, your support really means a lot to us. So here's the crazy part. Nathan's Jeep actually has more literage. Is that a word? 6.4 liters versus 6.2 liters. He's got bigger and fatter tires. 295 P0s versus 275 P0s. But I have two main things going for me. I have a supercharger, about as thick as my forearm, which puts out 707 horsepower, and I've got the better band on my shirt, Pink Floyd versus, well, that silly Canadian band. Really good brakes. That was close. Not only that, that was probably your best launch. Yeah, yeah, you know, the supercharger makes such a big difference up here. <laughs> yeah, it does, doesn't it? I think that at sea level or near sea level, where this thing has all 475 horsepower, I think that in an eighth of a mile race, I'd win. Reason why is because if you look at what I've been doing here, he hasn't even, uh, he's, he has had no more than a car length of it. Nathan, Pink Floyd rules! <laughs> Not even a little bit, my friend. Look, I was pretty sure that you would be able to take me, but it does launch so much faster than your car. Yeah, in every race, that car got faster because I touched the tires and they kept getting warmer and warmer, so I was able to hook up better and better. Yeah, I have no excuse, but I am looking forward to the fact that we are going to get, one of these days, the Trackhawk and the Demon, which need to be on this track because I have a feeling the Trackhawk will be absolutely unbeatable. Yeah, I agree, but you know what, Nathan? I'm going to go drive the Demon and the SRT Durango next week, so look forward to that video. As always, this is Roman. And Nathan. Saying, Pink Floyd rules. See you guys next time. It's about rush, baby. Oh, by the way, real quick, one of the reasons we have to run is because Decano up here, the speedway, is doing drifting, and Roman won't let me drift the day, uh, this thing. Yeah, I don't know if four wheel drifting is our thing. We'll try. All right, see you guys next time, and check out tflcar.com for more news, views, and real world reviews. See you.